Hey guys, welcome back. We're here to tell you all the things that we've purchased so far for our RV so you can see what you need. Let's look at the first thing. Hitch lock. I wanted to get a hitch lock in order for me just to feel a little safer and that the Airstream is secure when I go out and about in my vehicle and I leave the Airstream by itself. So let's look at, take a look at the hitch lock. So over here the hitch lock that I'm using is from Proven Locks. Proven Locks is a website I looked online on the Airstream forums. They said it was one of the best ones, just security wise. And they have different options. The one I got was the stainless steel option. So stainless steel option brings the stronger stainless steel metal. And it also brings the medical key, the core of the medical key. So in order for, it's just a little, a little better security. So here it is. The one thing I have noticed is it's a little rusty on the sides but it it does not affect the performance you know we leave it out here it's from proven lock as a medical core what i do what i like about it is that you can put the chains it also secures the chains so the chains are in there secure with the lock and you know let us know if you want a better more in-depth video on the proven lock but that's the one i got so we like that one chocks wheel chocks just this is for when you unhitch or when you're hitching, you want to make sure that the Airstream doesn't roll back or forward on you and it stays put so it doesn't hit the vehicle or roll down the hill. So once you unhitch, you want to make sure that those are in place before you unhitch. So let's take a look at those. So the wheel chocks that I got are these rubber beefy ones. And I put them, you could put them on just one side. I, I put them on both sides, so I have four total. The good thing about these is that they're pretty inexpensive. I actually got them at Harbor Freight. They're about $7 each. So not too bad. So those are the wheel chocks, X chocks. So we were doing some research and some people use these as the chalk. I use both. I use the regular wheel chalk and then the X chalk. So what the X chalk does is it prevents, it actually locks both wheels in place. So that wheel is tugging or pushing against that wheel. And they're both this, the, it brings a wrench you could put up here and it spins. You could actually even put a little padlock in one of these holes to secure it a little better if you want but what this does is it prevents rocking so these wheels even with the chocks on it won't move a lot but there's some micro rocking that will happen because of suspension uh, the x chocks it locks the wheels in place that way this wheel is pushing against that wheel and it's, it keeps everything stable all right so those are the wheel chocks now let's take a look at the other side with things that we've purchased so on this side we have our water Hose, our water filter, our cable, uh, we have our sewer hookup. So these are all things that you need for the RV. Yeah, so for the water filter, we just got a basic water filter at Camping World, and you can get these on Amazon as well. Camco makes a good one. This water filter and this hose is a drinking hose, so you want to make sure you're using just a drinking water hose and you leave that just for this purpose sewer hose that we use is just a basic sewer hose you do want to have some good connections and i do see other people that have those ramps we may look into that that's another thing that we may purchase in the future the ramps to make it flow down a little easier but this was a pretty basic one and it's good to have a clear opening so you can make, confirm that things are actually flowing down you know this has the clear a clear extension or a clear adapter so again, the x chocks there, and then here, this power cord, this power cord here comes with the Airstream. So that was very good. I was looking into that, and they're not cheap. So the fact that the Airstream came with this 30 amp power cord, very happy about that. I think it's about a 30 foot, not sure. And this cable, this is just a regular TV cable. We bought it once we got to the campgrounds because this is where you hook up your cable. And you wanna make sure you have that so you can enjoy cable TV. So this is the Progressive Industries EMS PT30X and from what I've heard this is one of the top of the line ones for 30 amp there's they also make a 50 amp one this protects your RV electrical system from any surge surges right the campgrounds if you're going around the country you know you never know how good the electrical grid is there or how good the breakers are the, the relays the electrical you know company the utilities so we want to make sure that we had some protection and and there's a little map here of what the error codes mean so it'll tell you if there's reverse polarity open ground high voltage low voltage etc so so this is our storage area on the side of the rv and we are going to show you what we have inside this is a level so right here this is a pretty cool level um 
So this level was, I, I forgot how much it cost, but I got it at Home Depot and I needed a good level. I had bought a cheap one when we were at a campsite and I had not planned for it. And for some reason, it just wasn't, sh it wasn't showing level to me. So this one, what I like about it, it has a magnet. Like it's, it's magnetized there. This is a little button. It's a little button and it's hard to see in the daytime, but it glows. It makes this glow. It also has little windows on top. It has a little window. So you can put this on the ground and you can see if it's level or not. So this, I actually use it in several places when I'm leveling side to side. I like to use it inside on the floor, like kind of where the dinette table, where the middle is or in front of the refrigerator. I level it side to side. I also use it to level front to back inside, but I also use it outside sometimes. Just, I try to find a spot. It could be here on top of the frame, you know, making sure that I'm not scratching anything. It could be down here by the wheel well. I know everything may not be perfectly straight by using different spots like that. I use it at the back. I like to level in different spots. There might be better ways to level it, but that's the way we do it. And let us know in the comments if there's a better way to level it, but that's what we use. Next thing we have are gloves. These are really important. So when you're grabbing things like the sewer, etc., you don't yeah. get your hands dirty. So definitely have lots of pairs of gloves. Yeah, these gloves come in handy. We got them. It was a two pack at Costco. What I like about it, it's not just that waterproof, it's because it wants, you want to protect your hands. You're carrying heavy objects like the hitch or, you know, doing things that you might be able to, you might pinch your fingers. You want to make sure you have good gloves. The next thing we bought is a bag for our water hose, our fresh water hose. So this is something to store it in and it has a nice tie here. And then it also has labels. So if you wanted to put your electrical cord your fresh water or even your sewer in here. So and you, you could buy three different bags and yeah. label them. And then put it in here and then store it nicely. So this was nice because before we were having all the different tubes and water hose all mixed up and thrown all over the place. So this helped to organize that inside our RV. The next thing we bought was a stool. And this is helpful when you need to do something on the top of your RV or if you need to do something with your awning. Um, and it's very compact, that's why we liked it. We got this at Harbor Freight. This is good for when you need to reach higher places, you have a stool. So this is a, an adapter. It just goes from the 30 amp that the Airstream connects to, to a regular, you know, a regular 120 volt, 15 amp um, household residential outlet. So what this helps with is, you won't be able to run your air conditioner, right? But what this helps is if you're at home, right, the residential area or at the storage area, and you want to turn on the lights and turn on things inside, like a fan and other, other or a dehumidifier, or whatever you need to power on with the regular 120 volt, 50 amp, you can use this and then the power cord the Airstream comes with and then power up those things. But you won't be able to power the air conditioner. That's the main thing you won't be able to do. But everything else you'll be able to power. So this is just an adapter to help you do that. So this is a cool contraption to help you with mosquitoes and bugs. We bought this at Bass Pro Shop and we actually paid a little bit more money than we should have. We saw it at Harbor Freight for about half of the price. So just shop around. There's a button here that you press and it turns on an electric field, if you will, and then you can swat all of the mosquitoes. Instead of having to hit your Airstream or try to find them, it actually just electrocutes them in midair. So you can go like that. Preparedness items, right? So one is this yellow thing here. All right, so we got this trailer aid. So this trailer aid, it's, it meant for only one reason. In case you get a flat tire, you can actually put one of the tires of the Airstream and roll it up on the trailer aid. For, for example, let's say there's two tires here on, on this side of the Airstream. One of them goes flat, the front one. You roll the back one on the back wheel onto this trailer aid and lifts the entire side onto the air and then with that you can now change your front tire your front tire with the spare tire without a jack so it replaces a tire jack so instead you just roll it on play, replace a tire roll it off and your tire is good if the, if the rear tire is flat you roll on the front tire and then you replace that one you put it back so this is basically it it's just a replacement to a tire jack but it makes it a lot simpler because i do not want to damage my airstream with a jack and there are some certain jack points but I'd rather not mess with that. And then this Airstream does not bring a jack. I would have to use my vehicle jack. And it just seems like a lot of hassle. This seems a lot simpler. So I, we just carry this around. And if we need it, we'll use it. If we don't need it, it's there in the car. So it's one of those emergency items. And right next to it, 
this is an air compressor vital air or vi air so i got this off of amazon because i used to have a little cheap one that i had on amazon as well that was good enough for the for the vehicle for a car but the tires on the airstream require 80 psi and those other ones they it, they're going to struggle getting to 45 psi it doesn't connect to a cigarette lighter it connects to the battery so this vi air has two battery leads pretty long pretty good they they will get they will reach both airstream sides so you get this you connect it to the airstream batteries you know on the terminals red and positive and negative terminals this air hose is pretty long i actually don't even, it's still wrapped up i don't extend it all the way and it's the screw in type and this vi air will air up those tires i usually always check the air pressure before going on a trip and it'll air those tires with no issues and very quickly and you can even feel the it's pretty powerful compared to the other one that was a cigarette lighter so this vi air and there's different types on amazon and for some reason they're all very expensive on amazon but this one was not this one i'll put a link down in the description below same time we're checking the air pressure on the tires of the airstream we're also checking the torque on the lug nuts of the airstream so i needed a torque wrench so i got a pittsburgh pro this is from harbor freight and it's actually had a coupon it came out to around 12 dollars for a torque wrench so yes very affordable 12 bucks on harbor freight it's going to do the job it may not it may not um be perfect for you know for a, a airplane or a spaceship but for i think for an airstream i think it's enough another thing that we actually purchased the day that we picked up our airstream because we wanted to make sure that we were safe i had heard a lot that this is one of the things that you really need in order to be safe is a tire pressure monitoring system for your airstream tires so this is the one that we purchased there's several there's different brands different models um they're not they're not cheap uh this one was i forgot how much it was i'll put the link down in the description below but a few hundred dollars and what it does is you have little sensors uh we needed four sensors so this one came with four sensors and you put it in the tire um in the stem uh, for the tire and it monitors the pressure and it remotely you know wirelessly sends it up to where we're driving and if there's any sort of low pressure it also checks temperature high temperature low temperature high pressure low pressures all these settings and you have to set it up once after it's set up once you just turn it on and it's already automatically set up each time you go on a trip but it'll give you an alarm like an audible alarm if there's an issue um, we found that it works pretty well just to see how it works you turn it on right now 81 and i set up four tires right 81 80 80 80 so right now all my tires are at around 80 to 81 psi so another thing that we purchased more optional but definitely something that i like is outdoor patio furniture so we bought two chairs and some fake grass and it helps to give the area outdoor living space what i like about these is that they have their own pillow and they come in a set of two and you just stretch out and you could actually get into a laying position. And then last thing that we did, when you go to any RV site, people typically decorate for the holidays and so you definitely want to have some decorations outside. So we got some Disney characters for our site. So we'll show you what that looks like. So we have Mickey, Olaf, who's that, Yoda, and Minnie. And these are like each $30 at Home Depot. That was everything that we've purchased so far for our Airstream. Uh, it's a lot of stuff. I know that we didn't expect to buy this much and i'm sure there's many things that we have not purchased that we are missing so let us know in the comments down below are there other things that we should purchase that we didn't mention in this video or things that you like better different brands that we should buy uh, we're learning and so we appreciate any advice you guys can give us but this is what we bought so far and seems to be working just well uh, again we've only been on a few trips so we might purchase some more things and um, yeah let us know in the comments down below thanks for watching See you next time.